Apple's biggest mid-cycle operating system update ever, iOS 14.5, is due to launch over the next few days, the iPhone maker has confirmed. The iOS 14.5 U-Grade includes a barrage of cool new features, but the most outstanding by far is app tracking transparency, AT, and it will change your iPhone forever. AT has ruffled many feathers across the advertising industry because it effectively spells the end of the IDFA, identifier for advertisers, a unique device code that companies use to track your activity across iPhone apps and services. The iOS 14.5 privacy change hurts companies such as Facebook the most, and the social network has been protesting against AT for months. AT is a feature that requires app makers to ask for your permission to track you across iPhone apps and services. In reality, that means after upgrading to iOS 14.5, you will see a pop-up box, see picture below, which reads, allow X to track your activity across other companies' apps and websites? You can then choose, ask app not to track, or, allow. In iOS 14.5, if you ask the app not to track, it will lose access to the IDFA, the unique device code I mentioned earlier. Apple has also stipulated that app makers must not track iPhone users in other ways using data such as email addresses. Facebook has been very vocal in its opposition to AT since the feature was delayed from the initial launch of iOS 14.5 last year. The social network even took out full-page newspaper ads to criticize Apple's privacy move, saying it would hurt small businesses the most. It's true the iOS 14.5 privacy change will impact small advertisers, but it is the likes of Facebook who will be impacted the most. Unlike Apple, whose business model is based around the hardware and services it sells, Facebook's is based around advertising. Access to the IDFA has helped data-hungry Facebook to demonstrate the effectiveness of ad campaigns. You might see an ad on Facebook, then Google the company's website and make a purchase. If you allow iPhone IDFA tracking, this data can be collected and used to measure the success of ad campaigns to improve personalized ads. Facebook says iOS 14.5's ad is being used by Apple to push its own business model for profit, at the expense of Facebook's and others. Indeed, a recent Financial Times report detailed how the iPhone maker is due to dip its own toes back into mobile ads, via an expansion of its App Store ads business. There is also the argument that Apple is trying to force app developers to charge more for things such as in-app purchases and subscriptions, and the iPhone maker of course takes a cut. In reality, ad is good for you and privacy on your iPhone. The reason? Transparency. Even if you choose to allow tracking, at least you have done so with the full knowledge that it is happening. Apple's iOS 14.5 is game-changing for mobile advertising more widely too.